Hi Cancer and welcome to your weekly Terrascope. Um, before I start, let me just tell you a few things that I have changed the format from 3 to 5 because I think this can give us a little bit more information and going to get the rune at the end of it and not as a separate reading because it was just like too complex for me. And daily instead are not going to be five cards, which kind of like is overpowering with energy. It's going to be just one card, quick note. This is what you need to focus. Just it's easy for us. Just stay on the message and focus on one thing. And it's just like my mantra for today. So also, I really, 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 really want to thank everybody for uh, subscribing and liking because uh, we are halfway to 500. And my goal is like when I get 500 subscribers, like and this is only after two and a half weeks. And believe it or not, anybody who has like 100 subscribers is making a top 10 uh, in top 10% of YouTube channels. So yay, thank you very much. But with 500, I will have a substantial amount that I can actually claim from YouTube a uh, free time and they're going to give me air time. And I want to use this airtime to give you free readings. So that half an hour or hour they can give it to me once a week, uh, we can get together and have online date where you can ask me questions and you know I can kind of like give you quick answers. So kind of like give back a little bit to you because you were so helpful and giving to me. So if you're new, please subscribe and like or share. And also this is going to qualify to enter the Valentine's Day contest for free tarot readings. So at the end of the video, you're going to have a link. So just click on it, uh, make sure you're subscribed and just put your interest to get into the contest. So when I actually have a draw, whoever actually wins, I'm going to notify this person and privately they can send me all this information. So, okay, let's start. I pre-shuffle the cards so we don't waste this much time on shuffling and getting all these energies and this is from the 8th to the 14th so it's coming up to your Valentine's Day and I absolutely love what I see I mean you are starting the base card here and oh my gosh can this be more cancer than it is look at this like I mean we are starting with the bottom of the deck 10 of earth you know, you're just trying to find your space. Where, Where is the comfort that you want to do it? This is that gorgeous thing, you know, like, I mean, and family, and a good cake, and a palace, and a keys to house, and a keys to a new car, and a baby, and a loyal dog, and a box, and, and you know, like, the top shelf, and hanging from it. So literally, all those pleasures of the world you want to experience this week. You are in the mood. You're in the mood for pleasure. And I would say you're also in the mood for nurturing because this is like so you, Cancer. You're such a nurturing sign. You just like really love your kids. And Candace, actually in this particular case, even though this is the Empress, <coughs> this looks so representing you. <coughs> it cannot be more. And this is a team of a week, pretty much. I would not say the Empress and nurturing. I would say just be yourself, Cancer. And things that you know is an opportunity is basically the floating cat it basically tells me that you know even though you want all of it you kind of like would benefit from looking at things from a different perspective or just even having fun with it you know so even though if you nurture it I think you're going to be able to understand better you know how to nurture if you just think things from a different viewpoint you know, this is not necessarily just about your kids or your loved ones. This could be just the people from work. And, you know, you will learn through that exercise, you know, how to communicate with them better, how to relate to them better, how to experience them better. So, you know, like when, when you glue these three energies, it basically comes to like really such a nice, cozy, comfortable, you know, feeling, feeling of the week, you know, nurturing. Uh, peace, like the, the, the universal kind of thing. However, I also want to point out that you have four major arcanas, four, and this one is a number 10, so this is like end and the beginning at the same time. So even though you're coming to completion, you're feeling like this happiness and that pleasure and that comfort is here, like you're getting to the level, aha, uh -huh, now it's the time to build something else. So let's say you just got a boyfriend, so the next stage will be to be committed, or let's say in a committed relationship, the next stage is like to get engaged. If you're engaged, the next stage is to get married. So you mean see what I mean? Like each kind of thing has a next stage. However, <coughs> you also have things to avoid this week, and it, it looks to me that maybe. <coughs> 
you are maybe finishing uh, some some loose ends. Uh, uh, so telling you to avoid uh, some big issues. Like I mean, whatever comes big this way, and even if the house tumbles down, do not deal with this. You know, uh, kind of like have a much lighter energy. This is almost the same kind of thing. Tease and you know, uh, evoking disaster, right? But you know, the truth is, like I mean, that this card here, which kind of like would be restriction, it tells me that you really uh, have to really, really watch who you let into your circle this week. This week, and it looks like the lessons that you have learned from turbulences that you're getting like this, are giving you understanding who belongs to your circle and who maybe doesn't. So, literally you have to find the God that you worship. And it looks like you did. You know what you want. You want nourishment, not only for you, but for your loved ones. You know, you, you need to know really who are those selected ones. And yes, you also at the same time need to know, like, need to know that your life is kind of like full of these energies. So, you know, Tower is a very controversial card. So, I think the best is like I will explain to you with a little video clip. So, just give me a second. All right, we got it now. I think we got it for good. Now we know what tower means. And just remember that this week, this is telling you to avoid. So just be careful what kind of like uh, things you go with. And you know, maybe, you know, it's much better to find solutions fr from the thought process just by looking at different direction instead of kind of like needing to completely rebuild. Lastly, uh, to embrace would be fire fire. You know, debates are more than welcome this week you might actually grow and debates go back to that you know maybe it is somebody in your life who is continuously teasing you or with whom you don't have the idyllic relationship and maybe that's the little kind of power in your life um, who you just find kind of like an irritant who you find oh come on you know I'm relaxing right now why did you step on my tummy or why did you step on my toes but you know, this might give you a kind of like completely different perspective into who this really person is, because we all kind of have sets of circumstances that brought us to, to where we are today. And kind of like to glue everything together for this week, you got the rune of Ingus. Ingus is like a really nice, a nice rune, and it obviously shows potential that kind of like goes in two ways. And it's not only potential, but it's a great potential. Literally, uh, this week is like so important. Please print this down and put it on the fridge. Uh, this week is so important because wherever you can begin, begin it and do not look back. Let me repeat this. Wherever you can begin, begin it and do not look back. No regrets. This week, things will go your way. Uh, whether a job, or in a personal relationship, uh, you will be finishing some old business. You'll be making right decisions. Uh, solutions will be coming to a close. That's why you have the sun over here and, and in goose, you know? And you know, the best part of all is that you will not have to do much. The answers will just be obvious to you. Also, uh, this sun and empress, if I really look at it, you know, it could be that you're just going to, this means something kind of basic. Hey, it's like so stormy where I live. I don't like these rains or sun. And look at this. Why don't I have these cozy things and kind of like lie down in a hammock? This can just indicate vacation. Maybe just time for vacation. So hopefully this is. Hopefully you are one of the lucky ones getting vacation for Valentine's Day. In any case, great reading for a week. I really hope you have all the best uh, happening to you. Happy Valentine's Day. And please subscribe, like, and enter Valentine's Day contest. And if you want a private reading with me, check my website and contact me through there. Thank you. And again, happy Valentine's.